In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my story and how I became aware of how I was afraid to let go of control in all areas of my life and how that was actually holding me back and, and what's really going on when we're afraid of letting go of control and actually when we're, we're trying to control in the first place. And I'm going to share a channeled message that came through to me and what was really going on with inside me and also on the outside and why I was trying to control and how you may be doing that as well and what to do about it. So don't go nowhere. I'm going to dive right in in just a second. I'll be right back. Welcome back, you awesome fucking weirdos. My name is Tony Fonte. How you doing? I help men reignite the four Ps, your passion, your power, your purpose, and your playfulness to create a deeper connection, intimacy, in your life and your relationships. Boom. All right, before I dive into the message, I want to make sure and say this and get this out of the way. Make sure you have it already and this resonates with you to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notificator to be notified when new videos drop. All right. Let's dive into the message of how I was afraid to let go of control, what was really going on, what's really happening on a deeper level, and what we can do to expand, to open up to this expansion and let go and trust more because that's really what's going on. And I'm actually going to use, I don't usually do this, but for this one I am, and I usually try to just let the flow and the natural state going and, and, and not use notes or any script, when I, which I usually don't, but... This is a channeled message that came to me. I was asking on a deeper level, what's going on? What can I do? And this channel message came through. And this is a while ago when it came out. I'm just now getting to this message, but it's important because there's a lot of great information here. So I'm going to share some of this channel message with you and really dive in deep to what's really going on and why we try to control in the first place what we think this false belief, this false sense of of, of, of certainty is really what it boils down to. It's a false sense of certainty. We think that when we control things, we control people, we create certainty because there's so much uncertainty within us that we think that if we can control the outside and everything in the outside, that we can create certainty. But it actually creates more chaos. And that's actually part of this message. It creates more chaos when we try to control, when we try to force things. And we try to make everything certain, right? We create more of that that we don't want in our lives. We don't want our partners to leave, to leave us. Because we're like, we, we got to have this love and this acceptance and this approval. We don't want them to leave. But we're so riddled with insecurities and fears and all this pain and all this trauma. And we're not doing the work because we don't know what the fuck we're doing and how to fucking do it. We got to do it all on ourselves because we're fucking men. And that's what we're conditioned and taught, which is the biggest fucking bullshit and scam that's ever been placed on to fucking mankind. It's thinking that we can't feel and we got to do it all on our own. Anyway, so I want to say this. I'm going to, I'm going to read parts of these, these, the highlights of, of, of this channel message. Control is an illusion. I said that in the beginning. And the more you try to control or force control, the more you lose control. And when we let go, and when we surrender to the truth that we're not in control, we actually gain control. I know it's an oxymoron, right? When we let go of control, we actually gain more control. And it's not control of the outer world. It's control of us. We gain more freedom. We gain more inner peace. We gain more strength and more of our power. And because we gain our power and our energy back and we, t we bring it all back, guess what happens? We create a new reality. Well, actually, we're not creating it. We're just vibrating at a reality that already exists on a plane and a paradigm that's already there. And then that's when the magic happens. Now the outside world doesn't affect us as much. And that's how we gain control. And we trust. That's a big issue of why we try to control in the first place. We don't trust. We don't trust people. We don't trust life. We don't trust these things because all this chaos that happened in our past and in our childhood and all the things that we've done in the past that so we try to control finances because, oh, fuck, we're going to run out if we don't because of the beliefs that we do. And then we don't feel deserving of money deep down and we, we feel that it's got to be hard. So then we got to control and we got to sacrifice, but then we can try to control our money. And guess what? We have more, we, 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 we attract more of these the money issues in. We attract more relationship issues. We attract more life issues into our life because we're trying to control 
and create this certainty in our life versus feeling certain on the inside and trusting. And really what it boils down to has nothing to do with trust on the outside and trusting people on the outside. It has everything to do with trusting ourselves. Trusting the masculine within, trusting the feminine within. I can tell you now that I've had this... <laughs> Categories. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I've had this struggle on my own because of my masculine and not trusting my masculine within. So then I, I don't want to follow through. I don't want to 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 follow through and, and make decisions and to lead myself and lead my partner and lead my my, my daughter and lead because I'm afraid of fucking it up because that's what I was told when I was a kid. You're gonna fuck it up. You're not gonna amount to much. And that was told to my dad. And that was told from his, to his dad and his dad. And it's been passed on until we break all this shit. So I had this, and, and then and because of that too, my masculine, because I was so wounded, I hurt other people. So, and that was one of the things too. I, I, I wanted to control how I felt. I wanted to control my emotions, controlled everything. Because if I can control it, I have more control of myself because there was a time in my life where I was fucking out of control. I was so fucking angry. I had depression. And I couldn't control when it would trigger and when it would come out. I would just feel the surge go through my fucking body and I would go into a rage and I'd become this different person. And I hated it. But I couldn't control it. I couldn't stop it. I knew what I was doing. I didn't like. It wasn't healthy. It was, it was hurtful. Abusive. But I couldn't stop it. And it scared me. So I said, be gone through my spiritual awakening. First one in 2019. I began trying to control my emotions, control my healing even. Because I had this false sense of security, this false sense of certainty. If I can control it, I'm in control. If I can control the outside world, I'm in control. If everything works out the way I want, I'm good. And it doesn't work that way. It create, makes it worse. My feminine? I didn't trust the feminine. It's my childhood. And the beliefs I bought into that. Some people have one or the other. Maybe you struggle with trusting your masculine. Maybe you struggle with trusting the feminine. Within. It's really where it starts at. Maybe it's both like I, I have. And I'm still walking through that. I'm not healed. We're, we're never going to be fully healed. We're always going to have work to do. And each level we go to, there's going to be a new level of, of undoing some of these things. And they're going to come back up. All these insecurities. All these fears. And I want to say this is a channel message that goes back to when we try to control thinking that creates more certainty. It actually does the opposite. We create more uncertainty. We create more chaos. And here's what came through. Certainty is gained through, be, through being okay with uncertainty and surrendering to it. Magic flows from the unfamiliar, the unknown. And the more work we do on ourselves, the more power we bring back to ourselves, the more okay we are with the uncertain moments because we become more certain. When you let go of control, you experience more. You feel more, you create more, you receive more by letting go. You open up to the limitless possibilities. We are divine beings. We are divine having a human experience. But because of the body that we're within, which 
we, we, it's designed for us to, to forget all that we are so that we can learn and go through the lessons that we decided before we came here to experience, to remember who we are. We open up to these limitless possibilities to allow things to flow versus being focused on one certain outcome, attaching to these outcomes, attaching to people, attaching to these things. When we let go, we open up more for that to come to us and limitless possibilities. Maybe something better is on the other side. And I already talked about this, but I'm going to go a little deeper. I was afraid to lose control because of when I was out of control. I hurt people. It was fucking scary. So even in my own healing, when I'm doing meditation and work, and I'm, get, I'm going and getting work done, energy work, get, getting other modalities to move energy and heal, when I feel something that has been foreign to me, it's scary. And then I try to control what I'm feeling in my body and, and how much of it I'm experiencing. And of course, my guides are just laughing. Yeah, you have no control over that. But you're safe. You're okay. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. There's just so much here. And I already said a lot of it. I was just looking at it. Here's a good, this is, this is a beautiful thing. I did want to share this. Hmm. Here we go. Where to go? Hold on. <laughs> okay. I want to, this is a beautiful thing. And I'm actually going to create a post on this too. Is the feminine, the divine feminine is uncertainty. And there's freedom and the flow going with the flow of things. The masculine, the divine masculine is certainty that guides the flow, but doesn't try to control the flow. He just guides it. Because the feminine really can't be controlled. We try. Now we're getting to a point where she's like, fuck that. I'm coming out and you can't stop me. You can either accept me and go with the flow with me and guide me, lead me, or I'm gonna fuck some shit up. That's fucking awesome. And here's another part of that. When there is an absence or an imbalance in any of these energies, the feminine or the masculine, if we're in more of one energy than the other, it creates chaos, which leads to fear, which creates the unhealthy out of controlness that hurts, that loses, that destroys, which was one of my biggest fears. Hmm. But when we let go of control, we become more free. And I'm not saying that it is easy. It's a simple process, but it's not easy. And it's constant awareness, constant consciousness, being conscious of what we're doing how we're being, how we're showing up, the thoughts, the words, our actions, the fears that come up when we do something different than what we're conditioned, are familiar with, I should say, and conditioned with, yes, as well, familiar with. Because the ego, the shadow, is going to try and keep us safe, even if it doesn't serve us anymore, because it's familiar. The unfamiliar is scary, and it thinks we're going to die. It's trying to protect us. And when we become conscious, we decide, that's not what I want anymore. Thank you. We're good. We're going to go this way, though. And you can continue to do it and not react when it freaks out. And each level you go to, you're going to have levels of that. And creating balance within your feminine and masculine energies within you. Creating that trust. You create trust with the masculine by, by staying true to your word and your values. And taking the action that's it's aligned with what the feminine gives you. And we learn to trust the suggestions and the creations that the feminine gives us. By taking action on those things. And she begins trusting the masculine when he follows through on his word. He shows up. 
He follows through on his commitments. And each time he does it more and more, he builds more confidence in himself. She builds more confidence in him. In him. And he builds more confidence in her. And you open up more to this divine beauty, this divine magic that you are. And you create this fucking awesomeness. Each time you step forward, you will face resistance. It's not going to be pretty all the time. You're going to face these fears. You're going to face these insecurities. And the deeper they are, the, 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 the more they're going to come up. But it doesn't have to be hard. I've made it hard. It could be fun when we let go of the uncertainty within as the energy flows, the feminine energy flows within. And you're feeling different things. You're feeling different divine experiences. Energy moves through your body. And what no longer is stuck in our bodies can now be moved. And when it moves, we don't freak out. I fucking have many times because I was afraid. I'm going to fucking die. And we can have more fun on this healing journey. Have more fun on the limitless possibilities that are available to us. And just trusting that your finances are going to come through. They're going to come. Your guys are going to come through with you, to you, for you. Trusting in life. Trusting that what you need and what you desire is going to show up as you work toward it. And it's all in divine timing. Perfect timing. I think that's all I wanted to share. There's more, but I think that's good enough. Let go of control. It's an illusion. It doesn't create certainty. You create certainty by being okay with uncertainty within. And the more that you let go of making things hard or thinking things have to be hard, and you just open up to those possibilities and you open up to those possibilities within you. You create a new reality. You shift into a new reality. One that already exists. You just flow into it. Embrace the dark feminine. She's only coming up as a flood to rage and destroy and wipe out because of all the uncertainty in the first place, all the wounding. She just wants to be heard and seen. And that scared masculine who's trying to control because he felt so out of control. And it's okay to feel the fear. We all feel fear. It's about embracing all of it. Honoring all of it. Taking responsibility for all of it. Not for the things that have happened to you that were out of your control, but for how you reacted and responded to all of it. How you perceived and showed up from that. Let go of control. Embrace this certainty more and more. Take steps and take action and lead in uncertainty more and more. And watch the universe respond to you. Watch your partner respond to you or watch them show into your life. I love you all. That's a powerful message I just shared. Whew. I'd love to hear from you. What resonated with you? What stood out to you? Where are you struggling in this control area? And what change are you going to make? What's one thing that you're going to take a step on and shifting from, from controlling everything to letting go of control? What's one thing? I'd love to hear from you. And if you want, if you want guidance on your journey as you heal and reignite those four Ps to create deeper connection and intimacy in your life and relationships, to create the life you truly desire, the relationships you truly, truly desire, there's many ways, several ways that we can work together. Some are self-paced that you do on your own. Some are more, some are more intimate with me. 
and I'm guiding you. I'm spiritually coaching you. And we go deeper together and as a group. Links are below. Figure out which one works best with you. And I'll love to work with you in any capacity that is, if it makes sense. All right, I'll see you on the next episode of the Laughing Through Life Show. Peace. Right.